I have a contract for you to sign. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you, I'll sign the contract after the show, but we're here to talk about, this is Crazy Hank TV, and we're here to talk about Big Brother. Unconsensually. Yes, well, you know, that, that's what happens. But, uh, yeah, another interesting week. Um, kind of, I, I, I don't know if I'm surprised who went home, but uh, it's just crazy right now. Like, right now, I, I think we talked about last week, I think it's Mickey and Christie's, the, their game to win or lose. I think so, yeah. Unless something else happens, I can't see anybody else winning it. I think um, – well, let me ask you, why do you think it was a um, – like, why didn't did you you didn't predict Nick was going to go home? You thought it was going to still be Christy? Well, I kept, I kept thinking, okay, Christy is the one, you know, that she she's I think she's the better I want to say the better player made, made less enemies maybe. Okay, I mean she chew, she does chew loud. She's a loud chewer. <laughs> um, we know that, but uh, Nick, you know, he had the problems with uh, Bella in the beginning and all the other issues, and people know he's a snake, so. Why I it just and plus if I'm if I'm uh, Cliff Nicole and Jess, I w I want you know because I I don't know it just it just I don't know what's going on. To be honest with you, I just either I guess either one was a threat to win, but I think Christie's a bigger threat. I, yeah, I guess I can see that. I think she's a bigger threat, but she's also. With the blow up on Taco Tuesday, I think she opened up a lot of people's eyes that he that Nick was playing. You know, I don't even want to say both sides of the house. I want to say he was playing all sides of the house. Right. You know, he had those final um, you know, final deals with practically everyone, where Christy just seemed to. You know, maybe from the house's perspective, they don't see her as being a strong enough player. Where Nick would probably also, with the jury at that time, Sis, Cat, and Jack. Right. Nick would probably get more votes, I think, from those three people that were there. Oh, you're probably right about that. That might make sense to get rid of him. But if you look at, okay, say it's Christy, we talked about last week, Christy and, and, and Mickey are on the they're in the finals. Well, now you have Nick in the jury. Nick is not going to vote for Christy. Right. So that now that's four people in the jury that are probably going to vote for Mickey. And you still have Holly, who will be on the jury. If we think if, if, if it ends up with uh, Christy and uh, Mickey. I mean, Tommy is pretty loyal to Christy, which upset Nick, because Nick doesn't know the, the backstory there. Right. But uh, you've got Nick, Sis, Cat, and Jack on the jury right now. You got Jack, who's obviously going to be loyal to Mickey if Mickey makes it to the end, right? But what about Cat or Sis? Well, Sis is going to vote. I don't, I don't see her voting for. Well, she uh, wait. Her best friend was Christy, right? Right. I forgot about that. So okay, she might vote for. She, she might vote for Christy. Cat is. We talked about last week is a wild card. Right, you, you never know where she's going to go, and Nick is is going to vote. So it, say, it, well, say right now it could be two two, if Cat did go with uh, Sis. Right. Because she, had, you know, Cat did have her issues with Mickey too, but I don't know how, whether was she close with uh, Christy though. That you know that's that's the hard part about cat is like, I never felt like she really, really bonded with anybody strongly in the house. I think cat, I think cat might've, I want to say I would lean with cat possibly going towards a Christie vote. Okay. So right now it'd be two, two, if that's be two, two. Two. and then you have Nicole, Jess and uh, cliff cliff would probably go with uh Mickey. Yeah, you know, and that's it's a smart part that Holly and Mickey that they made this little bit of an alliance in the end here with Nicole and Cliff, just to at least try to get their votes. Yeah, you know, obviously Mickey and Holly are not going to get votes from Christy or Tommy. Should one of those people be in jury and the other one be in the uh, in the final? Um, 
you know, the final play there. So I think by, and Jessica is just a complete wild card also. I don't think, you know, Jessica yeah. pretty much, she hasn't bonded with anybody. So at least to, you know, if you're Jackson or if you're Holly, to get the other person plus a Cliff or Nicole voting for you, I mean, that's three votes right there. Right. You just need to worry about two more. You've got Jack's vote, whoever you are, if you're Holly or Mickey. Right. So you really just need one more vote from the jury. So you have Nicole, Jess, and uh, Cliff. Their only chances if Mickey or, or uh, Christy's not up, not, not up there. I they, was, they need to get them out. Yeah. But it's almost like that. It's almost like when you're watching Survivor, you see the people on the bottom looking. Now it's time to make your move. Time to make your move, and they, they just don't. But I, I guess now, if if Christy were to go up there, I think she would. They'd probably be. I would think be smart enough to vote her out. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. I mean, but I, I do like how Chrissy was saying, oh, this was my time. Uh, you know, I, I told you I would, I'd be a pawn. And then Mickey's like going, wait a minute, we didn't put her up there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, um, it's like um, when Jerry offers to buy, what's his name, the soup. Yeah. This counts as the dinner. <laughs> uh, uh, Banya. Banya, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, this counts as a meal. This, this counts as a meal. It's your soup. It's soup. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine Christy eating soup? That'd be a, that'd be rough, wouldn't it? Well, it wouldn't sound so loud. Yeah, maybe. Well, the slurping I think would be loud. <laughs> it's funny. I I noticed that before they said it. I said she's a, she's a loud eater. She's a loud but, chew. Yeah. But anyway, it was an interesting week. I liked the uh, Zingbot. I thought he was pretty cool. I didn't like his voice. So his, his voice was kind of irritating. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of getting to me after a while. But uh, he did uh, he did uh, lower the boom on Mickey, and uh, I also uh, was funny uh, with uh, Nick. Nick's haircut. <laughs> um, Holly's uh, the fact that she's older than Mickey. Yeah. Um, I did like the, the buildup for what you thought was going to be a Jessica thing and it turned into a Cliff yeah. thing. Yeah, well, about halfway through, I said, oh, that's they're going to go after Cliff. <laughs> of course. And his, his man boobies. I think that's uh, going to be the... Uh, but I, that was that was entertaining. I, I like the behind the scenes at the uh, jury house. Yeah. Not a bad place. We uh, have to wait. You know, wait, wait, wait everything out at the jury house. It looked like a nice, pretty nice house. I wonder if that house is actually owned by CBS or if the owners just rent it out for, for like certain shooting occasions. Oh, that's, that's good. Good question. I wonder how it, well, it looked like it was a big house on a, like a ranch type thing where there's yeah. nobody around again. Why don't they build something like that? So people can't go shouting out, but I guess there's always ways to do it and fly a drone over and, and have the, uh, you know, put a little microphone on or, or speaker on it. But uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. There's a we don't as of now we don't know who head of household is. But I did see something on Twitter where where there's we see at the end where they're standing on the the scary yep. you know it's tilts to the side where where Jess falls off. Yes, uh, and it it is hilarious. It uh, she goes ah. I've seen that. Yeah, it's uh, looks like it's a pretty popular thing right now. Yeah, and then uh, I'm sorry I should have said spoiler, but. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, I apologize, but uh, it's hilarious. But uh, uh, Jackson's face, it's like, it's, it's, he he's almost can't keep from laughing because the her reaction is so dramatic and everything that happened. But anything else happened this week that... Uh... Well, let, let's re recap, obviously. You have Holly wanting the HOH. Right. Nick winning the prankster, which all he did was put Christy up. Right. He did not... He didn't win the veto, so he didn't get to use the prankster. You know, well, the prankster thing just really didn't matter this week. No, but you know, it's funny on the, the veto challenge, I was like going, my first thought was start at the top. Yeah. Less holes. And Mickey did it. He went right to the top, even though he was so far behind. He was about four, I think he was like four behind Mick, uh, Nick. But Nick had to keep going all the way to the top. And Mickey just had the bot. He was like, boom, 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 boom. So uh, kudos to Mickey for figuring out the, the smartest way to do it. Oh, definitely. We'll do, I, I, I'm surprised that most pe more people didn't think about it. I said, why would you want to go through more holes? 
but it was a bad plan to part, and it was a um, you know probably a five hundred thousand dollar decision potentially. Yeah, it, it, it did it because if he gets up there, obviously he and he like I said he had a he had a good lead. Yep. But once Mickey got to the bottom, it was like bang, 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 bang. So and the other one, the other contestants were just useless. Cliff and uh, and uh, was it uh, Christy couldn't even get past the little the first part of it. They kept dropping the ball in there, but uh, yeah, and that's where again Mickey is a threat to win. Like every you can't win it, you know, every week, but every other week he's a threat to win. Mickey. You know, if this jury wants somebody to win based on, and I'm I'm setting aside who's friends in the jury house at this point, but if you're going to base your decision on who's playing the best game so far, as far as just winning things and, and making some decent moves, I mean, it's got to be Mickey. Yeah, he's it's without question. You know, he's, he's won an HOH. He's won two... Let's see, uh, no, he's won an HOH and he's won two back to back vetoes where he's really just kept the um, the noms the same, basically, right? You know, and that resulted in the house getting out who the house wanted removed from the house. You know, it wasn't like, um, you know, his week eight HOH where they targeted uh, sis. You know, it was a five to six vote to get her out of the house. And then last week, it was a five out of five vote to get Nick out of the house. Right. So he's basically, even when he's not HOH, he's he's running the game. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, I, I agree right now. Like I said, he's, a, he's got an abrasive personality. But he seems like he was a little, with the uh, pies in the face, he seemed to be loosened up a little. You know, he, he was having some fun. And it was probably smart to get Nicole... You know, it's, I don't think he's really worked with Nicole much, but you know, he was joking around with Nicole, so I think that might help him. You know, her him get a vote from her. <laughs> who, know, who knows? I just, uh, but uh, again, I just, I just keep waiting for the people in the bottom to do something. But I guess they can't do anything if they don't win HOH. You know, they can't. I, I, I'm just going to quickly add to your comment about Nicole. One thing I wrote down in my notes this week is. Even, the, even though Nicole has not been a front runner by any means, she really hasn't won anything, I think for the entire summer, Nicole has probably had the most fun out of anybody in the house. I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. She, she's just having, except for that one part where she got thrown, where was it? Where Isabel thought she did something, and, oh, and, yeah. and she went through that, that kind of, you know, it was probably hard on her because people were, you know, thinking that she did something she didn't do. Uh, but yeah, under that she's having a good time. I, I was a little worried though for what that pie when she was up on the waiting out J Jackson. If she, if Jackson would have stepped back, her force could have thrown her over the the balcony. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I was like going, God, that was that was kind of dangerous. I mean, I, she, I, luckily she had Jack, Jackson was there. She had Jackson at least to because Jackson put his hands up. But if he just stepped back real fast and she goes, I mean, I go maybe it's. It's not a hundred percent, but she could have fallen over the balcony. You're worried. Would have, live, would, would have made the live feeds really interesting. Well, I'm sure they would have cut at that moment. <laughs> what about the um, what about the poor actor in the Zingbot competition? Oh yeah, where he goes falling down. <laughs> Way to stay in character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he didn't. Uh, I was like, because if you watch the slow motion, his. His wrist was bent back like this. He could have broke his wrist or hand. <laughs> He's like Tom Cruise, man. Just keeps, you know, breaks his ankle and keeps moving forward. Oh so. yeah, oh, I love. I when that clip first aired of Cruise breaking his ankle, hitting the building. Oh yeah. god! And to get up and keep going. I can't. I can't watch stuff like that. I. I. I, I grimace. So you don't watch the Joe Theismann uh, being tackled no. by LT. No, no, no. <laughs> I've never seen that. And what was it a couple of years ago? There was a basketball player where his. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, yeah. Oh, I think it was Louisville, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I've never you know, seen it. I can't stand them, but when I see them, I go, "Okay, I gotta watch it." Ah, I gotta watch it. Then you watch it, go, "Oh my god, it's so gross!" Because the body's going one way, the legs going the other way. It's like, oh my that god, dude's, that dude's flexible. 
Ah, oh, there was that, that horrific video that Cindy posted of this guy ice skating yesterday. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. Oh. <laughs> well, he can't do that anymore. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was a, <laughs> that was a fun, that was fun times, fun times, fun times. Um, anything else we got to talk about this or? Um, no, so Mickey, let's see, Mickey wins, Mickey wins each an uh, veto. So he keeps Holly's nominations the same and they pretty much, you know, they got Nick out of the house. Now, do you think when this all ends, do you think Nick and Isabella rekindle? You know, I don't know. Um, he was so emotional when she left, but that could have been just him acting, you know, it's like, oh, I'm a sensitive guy. And, you know, you don't, you don't know. He's, it was a, what, a two week romance. Cause she wasn't in there that long, two, three weeks. They were together. Uh, it was four weeks. She was four weeks. on the fourth week. And now it's been five weeks since they've seen each other. Um, he's not going to obviously see her for another four weeks. So it's about two months. I wonder if she's moved. Let me check plenty of fish. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> do they do a uh, after show like Survivor does where they bring all the contestants out or is it just the people that are in the jury and the. Uh, from what I remember. Yeah. It's like a brief thing where they'll bring everybody uh, back. Uh, that, yeah. Exactly. Everybody from the jury will definitely be there. Whether or not I don't remember if they do like a full forty-five minutes where they interview everybody. I don't think so. Well, they don't even do that on Survivor anymore. Um, I know they bring back. No, they do bring everybody back because they still have the America's Favorite Award. Oh, okay. About, uh, this year, what they'll call the Cliff Award. You think Cliff still still got it? I think it's either going to be between him or Mickey. Really, Mickey would, might win it. I, you know, I don't know. I think Mickey's, he's playing. I mean, he's really a fun person to watch on that show. Yeah. Well, he's, he, again, he's a smart, play, of the players left, he's by far playing the best game. Oh, definitely. He's probably the only one still playing the game. I mean, Cliff and Nicole are just along for a ride, it seems like, in their, in that alliance. Holly's riding Mickey's coattails, and and then you just have Tommy Christy in their own little alliance. And then you have Jess, who's, you know, for I don't know how much game she has left in her at this point. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I could see, I was even thinking Nicole might be able to get in there and America's favorite. But uh... I would vote, for, personally, I would vote for her just based on what I said. I think she's been. Anytime the camera cuts to her, she's doing something fun. And now to get her involved in that, that, uh, the prank week. Right. You know, she was the one who I just enjoyed watching her experience throughout that. Um, going back a week, watching her deal with the birds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, that was funny. Yeah. But she did seem to have a good time with the, uh, the pies, uh, and that's not easy to clean. Uh, who cleans it up? Does do they have to clean up the mess themselves, or do they have a housekeeping crew that comes in that we don't see? It's their house to clean up. Wow, that, that's 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 a messy, uh, especially a whipped cream. It does stink. I love whenever somebody from like a previous show comes in from a previous season, and they make like a guest appearance. Typically, they'll always comment on how bad the house smells. Oh, really? Yeah. Even though they're even though the people are taking showers and stuff like that, but I guess they're all sweaty and stuff, and they're laying in the the blankets, and they you got to wash them. You got to wash them. You have the uh, just like you said though, you got the whipped cream. You know, I don't know how frequently these people are washing their sheets or washing the you know they're not washing the couches. Yeah, things that's like true. That. Yeah, it's kind of like being at college. <laughs> <laughs> Big Brother College Edition. Well, do you want to get to the spoilers? Yeah, I think we could jump into the spoilers unless there's anything else. No, I if people, if you're gonna, if you don't like the spoilers, uh, this is time to stop. But you, we have a lost rewatch going on. You should check that out. It's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, tell a friend, subscribe, and that's all we got. But if you don't want to watch, know about the spoilers, move on. All right, so here we go. Spoilers. So the uh, that last 
thing that we saw on, on the last episode, the last challenge, it turns out that uh, Mickey wins it. Okay. I, I figure I go, I go, God, this one's perfect for Mickey unless he slips. And actually from what I understand now, Mickey was, um, he wanted to try to throw it and give it to Nicole just so that she could win ahead in HOH, knowing that he would probably be safe. But what happened is um, Mickey was still hanging in there. From what I understand, Nicole was still hanging in there, but then Tommy was still hanging in there. Yeah. And Mickey was not going to throw himself off until Tommy, Tommy fell off. Up. But unfortunately that didn't happen. Nicole jumped. And then it came down to, I believe, Tommy and Mickey with uh, Mickey hanging in there the longest. So he's HOH. His nominations are Christy and Jessica, with Jessica pretty much being his target. Hmm. You know, she's. You think, he'd want, you, think, you think he'd want Christy off unless he feels he can beat her? You know, I was thinking you've got. All right, so you've got that final four of Jackson, Holly, Cliff, and Nicole. You've got Tommy and Christy, and then you've got Jessica. Now, Jessica, I believe I saw on one of the spoiler feeds. I mean, Jessica's the only one who's not really a couple with anyone. Right. So it would make sense to almost get rid of her. Because she's the only one who would target one of you know one of these three couples that are still left. Yeah. And then, you know, you just worry about your your remaining six at that point. You know, obviously, if any of the four people remain, you know, any of um, you know, if Mickey, Holly, Cliff, or Nicole win, now, oh, keep in mind, this week coming up, we're going to have a double eviction. Right. So on the live show, and they don't know it. They don't know it. They know it's coming. They definitely know it's coming. Yeah. So on the live show, we're going to play, we're going to have our, our eviction right away. And then we're going to play a full weeks of big brother by the end of the hour. So if you get rid of Jessica, now all you have are the couples and you also have Christy and Tommy, who are kind of out of that final four deal. Right. So you really just have to hope that one of them don't win, and then pretty much the odds are in your favor that you're going to be safe and survive the election week. Because Mickey can't win the uh, the next one. He can't H-O-H. win the next HOH. But so he, could really, win, he, could, he could win the power of veto. He can win the power of veto. So really, you just have to hope that Holly, Cliff, or Nicole win HOH. The smart move would be for them to put Tommy or Christy up. Right. And then even if Tommy or Christy happen to win the power of veto and take themselves down, you still have the numbers to vote the person who's remaining. Right. But if Tommy or Christy wins the HOH, I've got to think it would be – I would put up – if I'm Christy, i put up Holly – and Mickey. And, and Mickey. Yeah. Even though she's in an alliance technically with them. Because she'll probably, I mean, Mickey probably said, well, this is the time I didn't need to use you for the pawn. We want Jess off. You're not the target. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I did like when Tommy was describing uh, Zing, but when he said, but Zing, he couldn't talk about her, her, you know, her, what about her loud chewing, but what about her crying? Did I mention <laughs> her crying? Because she does cry a lot. Um, I had a note. Yeah, so, so I, I guess uh, so. Jess would probably go home. Jess is going to probably go home. I think the talk is that if now the veto winner for this week is Tommy. Okay. Tommy's going to probably pull Christy down, and I think I think what Mickey has said is that he wants to put Cliff up as the pawn, and it really doesn't matter. I think you know Holly. Nicole, Christy, and Tommy are going to vote uh, Jessica out of the house. Yeah. You know, the worst case is that it's a tie and Mickey would just vote Jessica out of the house. Yeah. So, so Jess is go- So we're pretty cur- sure that Jess is going to be gone. I'm pretty confident with that. Yeah. All right. Jess is gone. So now it just leaves uh, Nicole, 
uh, Cliff, Mickey, Christy, Tommy, and Holly. Right. Hmm. Yeah, it's just I guess it comes down to uh, and because Tommy could win H O H. He's he's good at the challenges. Yeah. But he'll ha he'll finally have to get his hands dirty because he's been he's been kind of playing all sides too. You know, he's been flying under the radar, and he's so likable that nobody uh, nobody targets him. You know, he's if you could say Nick was playing all sides, but also uh, Tommy was too. But even Nick said he goes he he goes Tommy's been involved in three. He, he voted against me three straight times. Right. I think I think if Tommy wins HOH the double eviction, I think he's going to respect the alliance with Mickey and Holly and put up Clifford and Nicole. God, that'd, Tommy, be that'd be stupid. I, I know it would be stupid, but this is where he, this is where like they're, you know, it's almost like they're they're picking their friends over their gameplay. Because if you listen to Mickey, he's always saying it's a game, it's a game, you know, it's a game. Uh, that's a, that's how you could use, you know, if you say, look, Mickey, you've already say it's a game. It's not personal. It's a game. You're the biggest threat. I have to get rid of you. This so would be the perfect time to do it. Yeah, I, if he if he doesn't do it, that's just crazy. Because then you'd have the next head of household where he, Mickey could win again, and maybe he puts Tommy and Christy up there. So the whole thing, it, it just, yeah, I think I think you're right. Tommy probably would make put Cliff and Nicole up there, which. Makes no sense. I don't think Nicole can win. Cliff might be able to win, depending on who he's going. If he goes up with Nicole, he could win. Yeah, and it's going to be. It's not the the um, the double eviction H O H challenge is going to be something quick. It's either going to be you know true or false, or it's going to be one of those challenges where they have to roll a ball in a target or something. Yeah, it won't be a that's a, a time. Yeah, hanging around, yeah, hanging in there type of thing. Yeah, you know, all the challenges are going to be pretty quick this week, so it's it's really it's almost like um, it's not going to be something. It's not going to be something where you have to be better at an event than somebody else. It's going to be you know, kind anybody, of a luck, luck, luck of the draw. Luck. I'm trying to say luck of the draw. All right, but any know, other sport. I, it, and I was going to say, you're right. This is where this is the week where if you're going to make a big move, make it on Mickey because Mickey can't win HOH. Right. All he can win is veto. Yeah. And it, I, so again, again, I can't see why anyone wouldn't put him up there. No. I, I he I, I I would have tried. I mean, they did try like when Jack was still there, but they, they Jack got voted. Probably going back, looking at it, it probably been better to get rid of uh, Mickey and not Jack. Right. He probably would have been the one because Jack was Jack was good at the challenges also, but I don't think uh, he, even Jack said he wasn't playing the game as well as he should have. He let his big mouth get in the way a lot. So uh, anyway, any other spoilers you have uh, out there? Um, that I'm aware of, no. I think... Do you want to yeah. talk about the? I, I did see something. I couldn't sleep last night. I, I got up at like uh, five o'clock in the morning, and uh, so I'm on, on Twitter, and they're talking about how Holly and J uh, Jackson, Mickey, have had a uh, falling out. And I've tried to find out what caused it. I couldn't find what caused it, but basically, he, he at one point tells her he's picking up her stuff and hand it to her, and goes, "You need to get your stuff and get out." And then he walks. There's another feed where he walks by her okay. and goes with it, where the other people are sitting down. He ignores her, and she comes. and goes. I don't want to talk about this now. I don't want to talk about this now. So s something happens where he's just like, he's upset, but I don't know what, what caused it. Yeah, I see a clip on YouTube of somebody talking about it. I'm quickly skimming through. Quickly skimming through the comments to see if anybody says anything. But um, yeah, I looked on when I looked on the comments on Twitter. I looked and and people are just saying, "Oh, uh, Jackson's a jerk. Come on, Holly, wake up!" But nobody said what it was. What it what it from? You know, we're recording now at eleven thirty on Sunday, but there was nothing where I could find out where what was. I even went on the. The, the spoilers you sent me earlier, you know, I, I couldn't find anything that said 
what caused the problem. Yeah, and it doesn't seem, yeah, I mean, the comments on this clip, nothing, um, yeah, nothing that really says what happened. Uh, I'm trying to get to the bottom here now. Unless she wanted, didn't want Jess up there and wanted somebody else up there, and she was upset about that. And I can't see that being the case because they're pretty much playing the same game together. Right. You know, they've got each other's back. You know, I think. Mm. And why? And why? If you, if you're if you're Mickey, why would you be? You know, maybe he's thinking, okay, uh, uh, this thing's almost over. Uh, this was fun in the house, but I don't want to continue this relationship outside the house. And I don't, I don't know. He, he's kind of a, he is an arrogant guy, but why would you do that? before the votes because now she, she gets you don't know she could be a motion say no i'm not voting for you you think maybe he turned to her in bed and just looked her in the face and said you know what zingbot was right <laughs> <laughs> that could be it i don't know <laughs> maybe it opened his eyes but <laughs> I, it just it, it's just frustrating that you, you you don't know what's uh the, the spoiler was a good spoiler but it didn't give you doesn't give me the information that I that I was looking for. Probably later on today it'll come out before the show, or you know, because it'll air. We'll pro we'll find out tonight for sure. Oh, definitely. But it just uh, again, Nikki plays a good game, but he he does make mistakes with his ego. Like when he went and confronted uh, uh, when he um, when he found out that um, when Jack and all that different stuff was going on. Remember he always said, don't no no don't. He, but he can't, he's like a bull in the China shop goes running in there and blah, 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 blah. So he does have uh, that stubbornness where that could cost him 500,000. I do like though in the comments for this video explaining the fight that everybody's now referring to him as Jerkson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one's taking his side. Yeah. No, because there's a clip where he, he basically just, at first, first I thought he, when I first saw the clip, because it was early in the morning and I, I go, why is he yelling at Nicole? I thought it was Nicole. And then I, when I go, I go, oh, wait, that's Holly. I said, why is he yelling at Holly? Because that had made, neither one made sense to me, but I'm like going, but I just, uh, I, I just almost, you got, almost like they did it on purpose. They just released enough spoilers because they said the feed went down. At, the people did complain. Well, the feed went down. So they couldn't tell. So that maybe uh, uh, CBS said, "Okay, we'll we'll let the, we'll just show enough, and then people will tune in tonight to find out what happened." Here, um, one of the comments has to do with the veto challenge that they've played, which we have not seen yet. Now, the challenge that's coming up is, and it's actually one of my favorite ones, is everybody that participates in the veto challenge gets a, gets a, a veto necklace. And what they have to do is they have to hide their veto necklace in the house somewhere. And everybody else that's participating has to find somebody else's veto necklace. And the last veto necklace remaining in the house is the person who wins veto. Oh, okay. Okay. And it becomes, you know, you were just talking about how messy the house gets. Yeah. Wait do you see how it is after this challenge. Oh, because they're just throwing crap all over the place. So, I mean, they hide it everywhere, and they're just throwing crap everywhere. Now, somebody made a comment about how Cliff told Mickey where he's planning to hide his necklace so that Mickey doesn't find it, hoping that Cliff will become the veto winner. And this right. way he can, keep, he can keep himself off the block, keep the nominations the same, and move to get Jessica out of the house. And evidently, I guess Mickey found Cliff's veto, so things didn't work out the way they were planning, and that might be what upset Holly. I don't know. Because he backstabbed. Because he backstabbed Cliff. Because now Cliff is going to be um, a potential replacement nominee should Christie come down. Huh. Interesting. That actually puts. What? I mean, that puts Tommy in a bad situation too, because they have an alliance with with Mickey and Holly. Now, if to, you know, if they go to Tommy and say, "Leave everything alone," Jessica's coming home. 
and Tommy still pulls Christy down, you can see that he doesn't really have an alliance with Mickey and Holly then. Right. His allegiance is towards Christy. Yeah, which would hurt his game. Which would hurt his game. But, well, I get, you know, but he keeps saying, well, I made a promise to, uh, to uh, Christy, but like I said, Nick was not happy with him. And right. He goes, yeah, he, he, I felt like he betrayed me. This is also a good choice. This is a good chance for Christy, for Holly and Mickey to tell Christy, you know, we're cashing in on you. You're staying up. Tommy, don't use it. Yeah. Tell Tommy not to use it. Stay up. This way, Jessica definitely goes home. Right. That's probably what's going to happen. We shall see. I don't know. It's fun. I can't wait for tonight because I got to see what I have I, I become the, uh, it's like become Jerry Springer. I need to find out who, wh why they're, what happened. They, they were so close that there, there, was, there was nothing that you've ever, you know, leading up to it. But, but that's, that's Jack, Mickey. He's got, he's got that short little, all right, you betrayed me. I'm done. Exactly. Zingbot was so right. I, yeah, exactly. I think that's, it, it's something that probably he thinks Holly did. I think, it has to be that that he thinks that he got betrayed by Holly or something because he just doesn't want to talk to her. Yeah, I think I want to stick around and, and surf the internet looking for an answer instead of, <laughs> instead of going outside and enjoying this beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, we're, we got a nice day out today too. Are you going to get hit with the hurricane at all? You know, at first I wasn't worried about it at all because it was going directly to Florida. And I you know, have a lot of friends in Florida and don't want to see anybody get hit with it. But now it looks like it's going to mess Florida. It's going to skirt Florida. And then they said, I go, wait a minute. Why is it coming towards us? <laughs> so we'll, we'll wait and see. If, if it stays where it's at right now, we'll get some strong, some wind and some rain. But if it, as long as it doesn't go, you know, come on the coast more. It goes on the coast more. Then we then we need to start to work because it's going to be a Category Five. Yeah, they said it could reach Category Five, which is you know obviously the largest one. But uh, yeah, like I said, I wasn't even paying attention. I, I you know I just kind of. But now, like every three hours, I'm checking. Okay, where's the where's the the cone of uncertainty? This is what they call it, the cone of uncertainty. And you go, okay, where, where's? So you look, every year, I learn a little bit more about hurricanes and, and different weather, you know, like what you know the polar you know, vortex and all that different stuff because again in san diego i never watched the weather i, I thought I, I used to say i go why do they have a why do they have the weather here in san diego why don't we have a why don't we take that five minute segment and make the sports longer because <laughs> who cared about the weather and like the weather channel i never watched the weather channel but now it's like click weather channel i got to find out what's going on because you you need to know like well i need to know okay if i wait and if I wait till tomorrow, mow the lawn. Is it going to rain or not? Again, San Diego, it didn't rain. There was no. It was the same every day. But you do learn that the people have. You know, there are issues out there with the weather, so you have to pay attention to it. And my my father is uh, right in the path if it keeps going straight. So. Oh really? Where? where? He's in Palm Beach County. He's uh, right south oh. of. Uh, he's in Delray Beach. Yeah. So he's he's got to be worried about it. Has he got all his bread and milk? He's got all his bread and milk. He, uh, I think he bought some batteries. The uh, last time something big hit him, I think he they didn't have electricity for like 11 days. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've heard stories about it has been a couple hurricanes that came flying through here. And I think both times it was uh, recently uh, that it wasn't supposed to hit and then turned and came towards Raleigh and just destroyed everything in its path. Luckily we're not on the coast. We're further in, but it, there's been a couple of hurricanes that we've had a couple threat last year. We had one that was supposed to be coming right for us, but the day, the day, uh, day before it started going, uh, South and it went down towards South, South Carolina. I mean, they got hit and there was parts of, uh, we're, fit, we're just like an hour away from us, maybe not even an hour away from us. There was freeways that were underwater because it was one of the slow moving ones that just kept dropping all the rain. And, but we got lucky. It just, but we've been lucky every time. So, you know, we'll see. Right. I always said I wanted to see one and, you know, go through one, but then I, we had a tornado here a few years back. And I said, okay, I've, I've seen enough of mother nature to know that I don't want to see one. <laughs> just, just go around us. You know, that's, that's fine. I don't mind a little rain and some wind, but because we get storms that are scary enough, but 
We could stick Christy right in the path and let her chew to kind of disperse it. <laughs> or or could be they should just call them all Christy because when it's raining, she's just like her crying. <laughs> anyway, all right. that's all we got. We know that the end date is uh, September twenty fifth. September twenty fifth, which is a Wednesday. We'll know, and then I guess that's the day Survivor starts. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so you got Survivor and Big Brother. So one starting, one in. Yeah, busy, busy night. Busy, busy night. Excellent. But uh, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I have. All right, people, subscribe, tell a friend, and we're out. Excellent.